Hello guys and girls and welcome back to Warcraft Heroes of Hearthstone. Today I've just got up 150 gold so we're going to be doing some arena. Now I've had a bit of a mixed batch in the arena. Sometimes it goes really well for me, sometimes it doesn't. But um, let's see how this goes. So our three choices of hero, I'm not very good with any of these, I'm going to be straight. Um, I don't like Warlock, I can't get used to the Soul Tap ability, I hate taking life off myself. Um, Jude is alright. Hunter is probably the one I like most out of all of these, so let's go with that. So this first video is just going to be me picking the cards. I'm going to have the actual games in a separate one, so if you just want to skip straight through the games themselves, there'll be an annotation somewhere. Here somewhere so click that and that'll bring you straight to the games itself if you want to see me building the deck here we go so I'm gonna go with the Twilight Drake and I'm gonna go with a taunt double minions gonna go with a taunt again your beasts have charge, very useful for a hunter deck. Deal multi shot, three damage to two random enemies. Ooh, legendaries. Sylvanas or Ragnaros? Sylvanas we'd get out easier. Ragnaros does really, really well. But he could attack the wrong enemy. I'm gonna go with Sylvanas. And three three with a divine shield, yep. Yeah. Game plus one plus one for each other friendly minion on the battlefield. That's a good one because hunters tend to have a lot of minions out. Epics. At the start of your turn, destroy all minions. I'm gonna take that. Two mana and I can keep it in case I get overwhelmed. Wind Fury or Stealth? I'm going to go with the Stealth. I'm going to go with the Elven... No. No, I'm going to go with the Healer. Summon a random Beast Companion. Always good. Beast of Charge again. But the Rhino. Eagle Horn Bow. This is the first Hunter... Oh, it's a Secret. Whenever a seeker is revealed, gain plus one durability. No, so it is a weapon. I'm going to take the charge and the divine shield instead. Another legendary. At the end of your turn, draw a dream card. No idea what that means. At the end of each turn, gain plus one plus one gruel. Or anixia. I'm going to go with gruel. To be honest, plus one, plus one each turn. At the end of your turn, give another random friendly minion plus one attack. We'll go with that. I don't want to take the Abomination because I'm planning on having lots of minions out and that'd kill them all when it died. Loot Hoarder, Death Rattle draw card. Snipe. I'll take Snipe. Secrets are always good. Whenever you cast a spell, draw a card. Meh. Give adjacent minions spell damage plus one, meh. Flare. All minions lose stealth, destroy all enemy secrets, draw a card. I'm gonna take that just for emergencies, to be honest. Strangle Taunt Tiger, 5-5 five, five stealth. Magma Rager is nice, but the one health means you normally don't get a chance to put it out. But then it is a distraction to them. I'm gonna take it because it's only three mana and I don't have a lot of low cards in here. I'm also going to take the alarm robot, can help us get one out early. I'm going to take deadly shot, destroy a random enemy minion. Going to take unleash the hounds, river crocolis is a beast, timber wolf, your other beast have plus one attack, really weak card but its ability kind of helps it out there. When your hero is attacked, deal two damage to all enemies. Let's go with that. Another rhino. Seriously, stop giving me rhinos. 
Savannah Hymane, Death Rattle, Summon 2, 2, 2, Hyenas, and all of those are beasts. Right, this isn't a great deck, it's kind of... Well, I suppose it's pretty even. I've very few cheap cards, and then we've more as we get into the later ones. But, uh, let's see how this goes in the arena. Hey guys and girls, King Lear here, and we're back for the first of our arena matches. So we've built our deck. It's... It's looking alright. It's going to be interesting. I'm not sure how well I'm going to do with it. But um, let's find an opponent and see how this goes. Sometimes the arena can take you a little while to find an opponent. But they added background music to make it more entertaining. Yay. I'm not too used to Hunter, to be honest. I think since the reset, my Hunter's only level 1 or so. So this is going to be interesting. Hopefully we can win a game. If not, we'll get some valuable experience and you're guaranteed a pack anyway. So, this isn't a terrible starting hand, to be honest. I'm going to keep this. And let's see what he does. Okay, he replaced one card. He obviously didn't do too bad there either. Right, I have nothing I can summon right now, so let's just leave it for this turn. I'll get that Crocolis out next turn, or I'll shoot him in the face, depending on how things are going. I had the advantage of going first. Well met. Greetings, Greetings Traveller. Okay, so he's going to get out his 1-1 one, one to start with. I am going to drop a Crocodile then. He may be more inclined to whittle health off that than go for me directly then. That's the plan. We have a thinker. Oh. That that was a bit of a waste because all I'm going to do now is just kill that. Yeah, he got one card about it. One card out of it. But if he'd played that on a higher card, we could have been absolutely fine. So, bye. Um, I'm going to drop the taunt now. 1-4. It's always good to get a taunt out early, I think. Especially one that has like 4 or 5 health. That is cheap enough. Because that's just going to distract him. While you can build a decent amount of minions. Turns out he wants to do the same thing to me. Alright, let's drop this. So there we go. That's a 4-5 now. Right. That got his taunt down low, so I can take care of it. Divine Shield. At the end of your turn, give another random friendly minion plus one attack. I think I'm going to play that while I have my taunt out. I could have used Deadly Shot to destroy his taunt, but meh. I'd rather save Deadly Shot for when he has something big out. Oh. No. Bye bye. Fair, I guess. I'm gonna play this because then all I can do is either give that itself plus one or give this. And I'm gonna drop my alarm robot down as well. That's alright. I would have preferred to hit his hero in the face with that, but fuck it. Let's hope he's nothing that can do 3 damage to this next turn. I wonder what my alarm robot is going to swap for. Get in there and fight, maggot. He's getting desperate when he has to play cards like that that have a battle cry and he can't make use of the battle cry. So that's a good sign early on. That was... That was a weird move. That'll do. And now this guy has charge and divine shield. Right. Get in there and do as much damage as we can. This guy's like... His health is so low, you're pretty much guaranteed to lose him any 
anyway, so I've no problem kind of using him to knock something down a bit. Yeah, I was expecting that. That's fair. Okay, so he's going directly for me. That true silver champion is a pain because it heals him as well. Really is an ideal. Um, that's a beast, so that'll have charge if I play it. Right. I may regret that, but it got rid of it at least. I'm going to play the Alarma bot again. I like the... <laughs> My buff guy is still alive. That's pretty decent. I really hope he doesn't have a Concentration, though, because everything is getting pretty low. I like the Alarmo bot because if you have very few... Like, I've only got one there, and I could pull something out next turn, but it'll probably be a high thing. It means that... That only costs three, and you get a minion each time. One that's probably going to be larger. So, it's pretty good in that sense. And it also means that they don't know. I could be using this bot to pull out a legendary. And a lot of the time, they're just going to be fucking terrified. I'm not even going to bother destroying his minion. I am going to attack him with... Which is the least useful. The Rhino. Okay. That didn't trigger anything at all. I'm going to... Fuck it, I win. How did I not see that? I almost missed that. Awesome. Ding three. So... That game was pretty sure. I think we'll have a second game this episode and see how that goes. I can't leave you with just one really quick game. So let's look for another opponent and see how this goes. I haven't paid for the arena yet. I'm only using the gold I earned from quests. You can buy one pack for 100 gold or you can enter the arena for 150 gold. Every time you enter the arena you're guaranteed a pack plus some gold and some dust and things as well. So in terms of making the most out of your gold, the arena is really the place that you want to be. I got Gruel. It's very expensive but I'm going to keep it anyway because it's such a powerful card I just really want to see if we can get that out because that will fucking terrify him and I'll save the coin so I can drop it as early as I can as well I greet you. Greetings, traveler. he's greeting me um right end turn I have nothing to do yet the problem with a warlock is they can get very powerful very quick so as the succubus just said, I could be in trouble pretty early. I'm going to just drop down my loot order. And I'm just going to sacrifice that because when I do, I draw a card. So you can't go wrong. He's starting very early. Right, summon a random animal companion. Oh, nice. Fuck it, I'm going to deal with that. Okay. That's actually not bad. I can let him kind of build out a couple of minions and then drop that. Then he either has to do the 7 damage to kill it. Or... Right. So now is a good time to play that. Because if I don't play that, I'm fucked already. Right, that, 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 I, I wasn't too sure about that. Let's see how this goes. Now, he can kill this. His only choice is to kill this, really, or else those minions are going to die. He can hit me in the face for 8 damage if he wants and just ignore this. But then he's going to lose his minions, which I'm not sure he'll want to do. So many 
and he doesn't know what to do either. Come on, make your mind up. Is he going to kill it? He has to kill it, or else playing a minion was the most stupid thing he could possibly have done. Yeah, he's going to kill it. Fair, but now I avoided the damage off all of them, so... Alright, let's try and scare him by getting some buff beasts out. That's that's not going to scare him at all. I just want to get Gruul out. I'm pretty fucked at this stage already. This went horribly from the start, so I just want to freak the shit out of him and drop Gruul. And if he doesn't kill me this turn, I can do that next turn. Now, if only Gruul had a taunt, I'd be set. I wonder. Nope, he's going to go for my face. If he has something that does for that five damage to me right now, I'm screwed. Okay. I always find my problem in this game is I run out of cards way too quickly. Obviously not this game that hasn't been the problem. This game is everything I pulled out was too high and he got in there really early. So... A lot of this is luck at the draw. Almost out of time. Oh, I still can't play Gruel. Alright, let's play this because it has charge. That means I can take down this. But now, there is nothing else I can do. And he has enough to kill me. Well played. So, that was our second game. That didn't go as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back pretty soon with the rest of these games so we can continue our arena one. We've won one, we've lost one, it hasn't been a bad run. I got really unlucky with my draws in that last game, just everything was too high to play. So don't forget to give us a like and a comment if you've enjoyed this, and let me know if you want to see me playing any other decks, um, or there's a particular particular class that you're interested in seeing played and I'll give it a go and ma make a clip on it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Bye!